In the small, unassuming town of Garching, BMW develops its most powerful and innovative vehicles. This is M headquarters, yet it's only one of several facilities involved in M craftsmanship. Designs begin in nearby Munich. The challenge for an M designer is that he starts with a beautiful BMW product. And now he's thinking about what he can change, how much he can change, how much he must change for our customers, which are different customers. Once a sketch of a new M model is approved, the designers use tape to refine the proportions of a vehicle at actual size. In the modeling studio, designers finally get to see the three-dimensional car. Clay is reshaped based on input from aerodynamics testing in the wind tunnel. The wind tunnel is so important for M design because of the results of the wind tunnel. If we get a downforce in the front more than in the rear, that's okay. But if we get much more than on the rear, that's not okay for the driver. The results not always are the results a designer likes to have. But he has to live with and has to react and bring this in a beautiful, interesting form. On the new M3, the designers added a diffuser and a spoiler in the rear to achieve the correct aerodynamic balance. We have our main facility in Garching, where we do all the suspension and vehicle development, and where we have the workshops where we build the prototype cars. Every M prototype is built by hand here, including the selection of fine Bavarian hides for the seats and hand-stitching the M steering wheel with the characteristic blue, violet, and red thread. The first prototypes are equipped with a computer, electrical monitors, and thousands of sensors to track the performance of every component of the new M car as it takes to the roads around the M workshop in Garching. M engines are developed in the Presenstrasse facility in Munich. Here we are in the center of the M motor development in the Versuchsmotor Werkstatt. Here we have our first prototype motor per hand together. We have here by us, by the M GmbH, eight motor prüfstände, six stationary prüfstände, and two dynamic prüfstände. Auf denen können wir das komplette Fahrzeug simulieren. Zum Schluss gehen wir mit dem Motor ins Fahrzeug und testen einmal in Miramar im Süden Frankreich auf einer BMW eigenen Messstrecke. Und die Königsdisziplin ist der Nürburgring. Da wird ein M-Fahrzeug immer auf Herz und Nieren getestet. Other manufacturers do some testing at the ring. But BMW M was first to establish a permanent test center here. It is an integral part of the development and sign-off process. We are testing since the 70s all of our cars up there on the Nürburgring. It's one of the oldest racetracks in Europe. And the name of that racetrack is also the Green Hell. Yeah, the Nürburgring is very special, first for the length, 20.8 kilometers. It gives you a good opportunity to evaluate a car for a long time. Then the up and downs, to travel in the springs and out of the springs. There are many, many points like in Pflanzgarten, like Wittelbacher Höhe, where you can test it. And at the end, there are 73 corners and only two straight lines. Basically, it's really demanding on every little aspect of the car, on the chassis, on the tire, on the brakes, on the engine, the transmission, everything. This shows exactly how the car will behave in the dynamic driving conditions out in the real world. The M test center allows engineer test drivers to bring the development vehicle in and make instant adjustments before heading back out again. We have to change tires, brakes, suspension parts, shocks, springs, and so on and so forth several times during the day. Back in Munich, the engines are assembled with meticulous craftsmanship. Bei unseren M-Motoren ist es sicher so, dass noch ein Großteil Handarbeit ist. Und da haben wir Spezialisten seit vielen Jahren bei uns in der Firma, die diese Erfahrung einbringen, diese Motoren perfekt montieren zu können. When every element of the new car has been perfected, it is produced on the same production lines as the series cars. In Dingolfing for the M5 and M6, and Regensburg for the M3. In the vehicle assembly plant, the M engine joins up with the M chassis. BMW calls this moment the marriage. Special equipment is used to tighten the screws in an M car to ensure a stiff structure, vital to the M car's renowned handling. The carbon fiber roof is attached in a separate facility using an ultra-advanced bonding process. The big challenge was really to uh, get uh, the adhesive right 
and that means we have to control the bonding process very, very tight. We have to make sure that the temperature is always in the right tolerances, that the humidity is in the right tolerances, and that all the facilities are always working to perfect conditions. Because that is very, very important for the stiffness of the car. The finished M car is the result of all the ideas, craftsmanship, and experience found at BMW M. The people who work here, they love cars, and they like to drive in a special way. They want that feeling of how a car should handle, how it should sound, and we basically have the freedom in creating the car which pleases us, and therefore we think it also pleases our specific end customer.